Hey guys and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to talk to you about my blinds which are going to get a little update. More after the intro. Enjoy. Yes, for those who haven't noticed, I think about a year and a half ago I made my blinds smart here. The special thing about it is that they are actually relatively inexpensive IKEA blinds which you can get for around $17 while the smart blinds from IKEA cost about $120. Accordingly, there is quite a range in between and a lot of potential to do everything yourself which could make it better and of course especially cheaper. It was important for me to have a control center for the three motors that I have here. This way I could save even more costs and connect everything via LAN instead of WLAN. That worked well too. At that time I chose a motor kit that you can get for around $25. Accordingly the power of the motor has turned out to be somewhat lower which was already noted directly in the comments of the first videos. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to revise everything again. This means a new motor, a new control system, a new microcontroller, and of course, a new design for the mount. But to get started, I first tested the whole thing with a motor and tried to disturb it at first. This is a NEMA 17 motor, which is also relatively well known because it is used for 3D printers, CNC milling machines, and so on. The control was not as complicated as I thought. Accordingly, I had my first successes there and started rewriting the code I used back then, specifically for these motors. It took a bit of time, but in the end, it worked out. And since I've also gotten a little better at soldering, I thought I would take the opportunity to try my hand at creating my own small breakboard again. That means I have soldered all the wiring and so on. You can then plug in the stepper motors, connect the Arduino, plug in the power and connect the motors and everything should work. It worked more or less well. In the end, it actually resulted in a finished breakboard. It looks a bit messy from below with the cables, but I will include a schematic in the description so you can see how the motors are controlled. That should make everything a bit clearer. After I had finished writing the code and completed the PCB, it was time to revise the motor mount again. On one hand, I no longer like the old design as much, and on the other hand, the motor is now also a bit larger. Accordingly, I definitely needed a new mount. This is how it turned out. I think it looks quite nice. So after I had finished all the parts, I basically had to unscrew the old mount, 2001, and attach the new one. Except for a small mistake that you can see here, it worked wonderfully. And since I didn't have a box for the entire control system, the microcontroller and so on, I set that aside for now. Then I will design a nice mount for it and first get started on actually testing the whole thing on a live object. I have reattached the blind and now comes the cliffhanger. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I don't know why. The motor is incredibly fast. When it goes down, it takes just about three seconds to fully descend. Before it felt like it took half a minute to move the entire blind completely, but unfortunately it doesn't have enough power. That means since I no longer have time now, I will of course continue the project in part two and then try to optimize the whole thing further. I still don't know if I need to use a different motor for this or if I might have to create a gearing system that would give the motor enough power and perhaps runs a bit slower than it does now. We'll see. We will see all of that next week in the next video on Wednesday at o'clock, where I will try to finalize everything. Of course, I will include all the parts I use for this in the description. You will then see a complete overview of everything, how everything is controlled, and so on. Everything will come next week. I hope you enjoyed this short and concise summary. Anyway, we'll see each other again next week. Until then, take care and goodbye.